Canada's official opposition leader has arrived at the World Climate Talks in Indonesia to unofficially oppose Canada's position. Liberal leader Stefan Dion did not mention Canada or the Conservative government by name, but he took a thinly veiled jab at the government's approach to taming climate change. Joining us now is Jean Langlois, Director of National Campaigns for the Sierra Club of Canada. Sir, what exactly did uh, Stefan Dion have to say? Well, uh, I think the expression he used was uh, to say that Canada's approach was a recipe for failure in Valley. And uh, I think that sums it up pretty well. And, and why did he say that? Well, it's, it's hard to explain all the, the multitude of small things that Canada is doing. It can get lost in the details. Um, but the upshot is when you add up all the positions and all the small things that Canada is doing every day, it really paints a big picture of a delegation that is trying to prevent progress from happening in the, in the talks in Bali. And how are you doing with getting the big emitters, which is what this government talks about all the time, on board? Well, again, this, this approach that Canada is taking is, is not being constructive in that regard. Uh, if we look at China, for example, uh, China uh, has been getting uh, kudos for uh, its movement that it's making. It's actually showing leadership uh, for a, a country in its position. Uh, and all Canada can do is, is generate long lists of reasons and excuses why Canada won't do anything. So is China agreeing to binding targets? Is China going to cut back? Uh, China is agreeing to do more in the next commitment period. Yeah, well, and see, I don't understand, sir, how it is you think China is getting kudos for being... I mean, the amount of pollution they pump out dwarfs Canada's. So how do they get kudos and we get the blame? Uh, actually, it doesn't. When you, you look at, at per capita now, emissions, I, no, Canada no, I'm not talking is about way per capita. Ahead. They dwarf well, our pollution. Okay. Uh, well. that, 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 the, the, the case is that it, uh, 168 countries have worked through how to achieve a global reduction in emissions all right and as with the montreal protocol the way that we need to do this is have industrialized nations uh so-called annex one countries demonstrate their ability to reduce their emissions which some countries have and some countries have even beat their kyoto targets but canada not only have we not met our kyoto target that we did commit to in the first commitment period we're now in bali saying there should not be a target for 2020 we're saying there should not be anything coming out of Bali that suggests what the target might be, even for 2050. Um, we're making all kinds of statements that, frankly, uh, make us look ridiculous uh, compared to all the other nations that are there trying to come up with a workable agreement. Uh, sir, was it an odd thing today that, that Dion framed his points without actually mentioning Canada or the Conservative government? Well, I think it's it's important for us to realize that for Canadians, it's all about, you know, what does Dion say versus what does Baird say. Uh, and so for us, it's a sort of liberal conservative thing. But in Bali, it's, it's Canada versus everyone else, uh, except maybe the U.S. and Saudi Arabia, um, who are the only uh, countries who come close to the, the amount of um, negative commentary that Canada's gotten. Uh, so it... You know, we tend to perceive it as, as a partisan, you know, government opposition kind of story. Uh, but really, it's about where Canada is positioning itself with respect to the rest of the world. How are we doing with getting the United States on board? Well, I think the U.S. has been uh, as intransigent as uh, Canada's current government in terms of being inflexible uh, with respect to its negotiating position. Uh, and, um, you know, there are... Um, U.S. groups who are on the scene in Bali too, who are trying to um, make progress on that front. But um, you know, I think the consensus is uh, in the U.S. as in Australia, uh, the consensus seems to be their position won't change until after the next election. We like to hope that's not the case for Canada. Thank you very much for your time today, sir. Appreciate it. Have a good afternoon.